Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season six, episode eight of Shameless. This time the title of the episode is Be a Good Boy, Come for Grandma. I don't I don't even want to know what this means, but uh, I am hella, hella excited uh, for a new episode of Shameless. It's been a while since I haven't watched Shameless. Uh, my goal for this month with this amazing show is to fucking finally finish season six uh, and see what we're going to do with season um, seven, because we still have season seven, eight, and nine, right? Because ten, it's it's going to premiere later this year, I think. So we have seven, eight, nine, three more seasons to go after this one. So we'll see. I mean, I have gotten this far. It will be very stupid if I just give up and not react to it. But I will need you guys your support. And I do promise that I'm going to be uh, more consistent with the upload. So you guys will know when the new episode is coming. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy. I'm very excited to continue watching Shameless. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love this show. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon to watch the extended version. And yeah, continue supporting for more because I, I want to do more. But I also want you guys to support it, you know? Uh, Shameless hasn't received the support that it usually has, but I will take part of the blame since I am very not... Like, I don't post regularly, so that is the reason why maybe people are not watching anymore. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Keep keep sharing it, letting people know that I'm back. And, yeah, if you're on Patreon today, we're gonna watch three episodes, and the remaining two will be posted next week. So, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 6, Episode 8 of Shameless. <laughs> Your father went to great lengths to prepare this breakfast for you. Yeah, but that's With not love. what the Gallagher's so, do. You're gonna see a little more respect for this man right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. if only he that. had respect for them. Me in love again. <laughs> okay. I love that he had tribes. Oh my god! Just tag in and out like a little girl playing Chinese jump rope. So get your ass to the Oh spot. my god. It's a fucking game. Ooh. I don't want him to have a miserable visit. Oh, but you can give him okay. an, an adjustment period. I'll try to get you know? him out of your bedroom. Every business comes with risk. That's what you get the big bucks for. It's such a bad example. Money. Hey, you know what? But he's also like very young. That is the reason why he got in the middle of all of this. We smiling at. I like having you over here. You kind of cute together. It what are you smiling at? Though. Trying to play nice, nice, and be my new mommy. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, Doesn't want to be anyone. We have mom. no interest in each other and not talk. Okay. <laughs> Gets it from his dad. Get out of that shit you involved in. You hear me? Now. I got it handled. He has seen the the what what this business does. You know. Well, there's a place across the street, and I can thank you properly. That's nice. So what? What on earth is he doing? <laughs> I need protection against the scary black man. I'll be back. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. Whoa, this, so... this is so freaky. Now, <laughs> think about going in a circle. Basic. <laughs> well, we have to do something. No, you yeah. want me to do something. I promise I wouldn't say anything. You know I can't keep secrets. <laughs> so you'll tell Fiona. <laughs> God damn it, V. I need a scary looking black man. The fuck did you just say, crap? <laughs> Fucking Frank is an idiot. Not show up one day and no one would notice. What does this guy want? Hopefully it's someone good, you know? Oh, okay. Eat on him and then we call the cops. And call bust him. <laughs> don't, don't, don't give him oh, any yeah? ideas. Go ahead, kid. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. <laughs> What's my ex? You cool with that? No. Oh. Looking forward to making him jealous. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, you're a disgusting idiot. I'll still kick his ass. <laughs> Fucking Frank. Up in our defenses, I bought some landmines. Wait, what? I'm not doing it. 
course you are. No, he's not. No, I couldn't be more disappointed in you, son. The fuck a, what a fucking bitch. 20 years old. Yeah, I'll tell my dick that. Pull it out and I will. <laughs> I like the teacher. Just got my head all hydrate. Get a good night's sleep. Guaranteed yeah. by morning. I could kiss you. <laughs> I get my dick hard. <laughs> because you want help? This is scare. Anything you want to tell me? Nope. Yeah, like, they just need Mixing someone jail. to li listen. Dead body in my head. You were there oh, when he killed the guy? sweetie. After. He arrived after. I'll start seeing him. I want to see that. Oh, sweetie. Oh, Carl. What are we going to do to get him out? Well, I'm glad I could be your first. <laughs> He's weird. In 20 minutes. <laughs> and it's crampy. Yeah, how do we know you deliver? Give me my word. Or you can give me your left nut. Just not joking. Don't go through. I'll carve out your left nut and feed it to my dog. Fair enough. Carl ain't off the hook, though. Okay, uh, Lip, we kind of need your help with Carl. Frank Jr. Yeah, he will not hate that more. <laughs> what kind of message would I be sending if everyone finds out I let him walk? Dude, and you're a, a reasonable man. Oh, God. I'm very scared Point right now. Alright. Really? The jacket. Really? He just, this is just a power play. Oh, my God. Look, it's a small price to pay Big G? For, his, for his freedom, sure. right? I'm a maziophile. Huh? What the hell? You are my only seven month -er. Oh my god. Yeah. Of course I'm upset. Yeah. You're fucked up, Larry. So are you, Scarlet. <laughs> he really is kind of crazy. shouldn't come. <laughs> Dishwasher? Yeah. He's getting jumped, though. <laughs> oh my god. But he really does He's care about the family, right? Drink. Chocolate bun cake. I'm hurt. You told me I was your first. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> we like this one, Caleb. I like that he's doing normal, you know. Oh my God! What happened? Where are your clothes? Long story. <laughs> it's okay. He's a really Where's good you? man. Yeah, that you people was gonna cost you. <laughs> oh my God! You're about to lose your testicle. What the fuck? <gasps> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I think it could be one of mine. Oh God, Carl. Feeling better? Yeah. That's good. What you do? Put some hippie spell on me. Psychology, <laughs> baby. Not do anything? Oh. I think so. <laughs> what, what, what are you? What are you doing? Oh, oh. it's okay. Be a good boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this show is so fucking God, weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking weird. <laughs> Look at Lip. <laughs> this so fucked up criminal brother. Yes. Oh god. I understand, dude. It's a gun. His son could die. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? When the call finds out about this, she's gonna take away my custody, my visitation rights. Fuck, yeah. I will explain to her what happened. It is not your fault. I mean, of course it's my fault. Okay, so when is losing a oh. testicle? I keep doing the baby laxative instead of the coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Last one's in the fridge, bottom drawer. At least he remembers exactly where he puts them, put them all. I'll spend the one that Will took. You haven't been tested. No. You gotta get tested. Yeah, I have to get tested. I can't give it to anyone. But he wants to be safe. That is, that's amazing. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. Oh, man. Is there any reason for that? Uh, I can't think of any. <laughs> Shall I give you a hint? I thought you said you couldn't infect me. I don't want to take any chances. It's good, it's good that he take care of himself and others. The fine ass that man has. Okay guys, so that was the end of season 6 episode 8 of Shameless. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Good things that I want to talk about uh, uh, on this episode. Um, well... 
Carr realizing that this is not a game. Carr realizing that he just wants uh, more out of life, that he doesn't want to see a, a, a friend going to prison for life, he doesn't want to see dead bodies, he, does, he doesn't want to see that side of the reality that he was living, you know, because so far he has been doing, you know, the fun things, if you want to call it that, where it's just, you know, um, money, getting threatening people, nothing that he hasn't done in the past because he usually, you know, in, in, at school, he was also bully, you know, and they selling illegal things. So there's a lot of things that, that he had done in the past that when he started doing this, he was like, it's not a big deal, you know, it's not a big, it's not a problem. But seeing Nick do what he did, the fact that he wasn't able to come out of this world and, you know, that, that dead kid there, you know, and the, the, the entire thing was just because Nick just couldn't let go. He didn't want to do that. And I, I feel like the, for the first time since we have met Carl, this is the first time we actually get to see a little bit of his mindset, you know, what he actually thinks, how he feels. He usually is like brush off, like, ah, it doesn't matter. Or like Fiona or the others is like, oh, here goes Carl doing something insane, you know, or, or getting himself in trouble because he has always been a trouble kid, you know. So I'm glad that he on his own decided that it's not the life he wants to live. Uh, I hate the fact that Frank, you know, was like, keep pushing him to do it because of course it's easy money for him uh so i'm glad that car was able to to say it to realize that it's not the life he wants to live you know and that a white boy carl was just a face for him and that that's no longer who he is you know um i'm glad i i really appreciate sean for what he did how he behaved how he stood up for him and how you know, he managed to, to cut him loose, you know. Um, hopefully we will get to see a new side of Carl. Now, is it possible that um, he might not be working for him after what happened? Uh, I, I mean, I understand completely why he's upset. Wilku have shot, him, shot himself, kill himself shoot or, or hurt someone else and and due to this he's now going to probably lose custody or visitations and things like that from his son because of this thing that happened and here here's the thing i uh i do believe he was harsh towards fiona he needed to because he is opening his house his family he's helping out Yes, the least Fiona could do was to check if there wasn't any guns around. She also already has the experience of what happened to uh, to Leanne with the drugs and all of that and the problems she had. So of course she will. She should have said and should keep an eye uh, on on Will. Will is not like the rest of her family that just you know oh, a gun in the hand. Ah, it doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong now. You know, there are rules and, 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 you know, he shouldn't, he shouldn't, she shouldn't have left him alone. And if she had, she should have, you know, be careful that he didn't grab anything that could, you know, jeopardize his life and, and put his life in danger. So I, I'm kind of like, even though sometimes I don't like, uh, what's his name? Sean, and like, I'm not 100% a fan of him and his relationship with Fiona. I'm okay with it. Uh, but I do understand him and I do kind of, I'm behind him, you know, I, I do support what he was saying, understand fully why he's upset. <sighs> then what else do we have? Uh, well, Ian and, and his boyfriend, well, oh God, I forgot his name. Uh, but his boyfriend, I, I like how normal all of this is. For someone who's dealing with with bipolar and for someone who is just coming to terms with that and to 
you know, figure out his life uh, as, as a bipolar man and all of that. Uh, having some sort of normalcy, it's okay. Because the crazy life that the Gallagher's live is not something that will, you know, will um, help him uh, be stable, you know. So I, I'm glad that he has found this guy. Uh, I'm glad that the guy, he's very responsible. Uh, he is HIV positive, which is bringing a light to Ian to get tested as well, to be protected, to not have unprotected sex. Uh, and I, I'm so happy that even though he knows that there's low to no chances for him to infect someone else, um, he just doesn't want to take that risk. It's not a... a um, a risk that he wants to take at all, you know, so he protects himself and protects the person uh, that he is with. That tells you a lot about the type of man that he is. And honestly, I like that. Caleb. Caleb is his name, right? I like that a lot, a lot, really, you know. Um, I, You guys know how much I love Galovich. Galovich. I, I miss uh, Mickey. I know that I think the actor was doing something else, exploring something else. Um, I love them. Um, I wish that this normal life uh, could happen between them. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, you know, I... I, I I don't know if they could have achieved that if 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 Ian will have been able to be in a that type of stable relationship. I, there is the violent part of the relationship with Galovich that I I didn't like that I didn't understand, you know. So it's it's uh it's it's a combination of all and like I don't know. I don't know if they could have. I I think everything happens for a reason, and you know I'm I'm, I'm happy with this Caleb dude. For uh, honest, honesty, honestly, whatever. <laughs> um, then we have Frank getting himself in trouble, which is like the, I mean, what is new with with him? So uh, he's not responsible. <laughs> he's if he loses a testicle, it's going to be on his own fault. You know, I, I don't even mind. <laughs> um, then the whole thing with with. With lip and uh, the grandma, it was just so fucking weird. But it helped him. It helped him op open his, you know, whatever it was blocking him. It helped. I do believe in uh, what is the name of that ref reflexology? I don't the no I don't know the name of it. Uh, but that thing where everything is connected to your food and they do m massages and. You know, uh, it helps unblock things in your body. I do believe I don't think that there's any harm in it. Uh, and you know, we saw the anger come out, and then you know, the title of the episode "Come for Grandma." <laughs> that was just oh my god. I mean, Shameless is always weird, but man, that was weird. <laughs> um, and then of course we have. Um, Yeah, his whole thing with Lip and, and that and, and the fact that he misses uh, Helene, he, 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 he right? But it is what it is, you know, he has to understand that. Um, but yeah, this was a great episode. I wanted to talk about something else and I completely blanked right now. Huh. Yeah, I completely blanked. I don't remember. Um, well, I talked to oh well V, she's amazing, uh, protecting Carl, loving that. Um, and yeah, well, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Uh, this is the uh, my reaction for episode eight. I'm about to watch episode nine right after this, so I hope that you guys enjoy, and I hope that you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love Shameless, subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, and also go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Today I'm going to watch three episodes, so two more. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I haven't done a binge, uh, a Shameless binge in a long time, so it's going to be, it's going to be good. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys continue supporting for more, and I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos.
for shameless. Mwah. Bye guys.